I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was Hello everyone This is like Saga Welcome to my let's play of Pokemon Fire Red For the Game Boy Advance Now believe it or not It is a uh, The arena of Pokemon Red was my first Pokemon game ever when I was a kid Like 14 years ago or, No 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 what am I saying 14 years ago Actually, yes, uh, yeah, 14 years ago, 15, oh, it's been so long, I used to play the shit off out of that game, and, and I had a, a, a cousin, some, obviously, uh, my brothers and stuff that loved, loved the games too, we even had a link cable or lead battles and everything, even though they, were, they weren't the big thing, and I suck so much at them, um, but, uh, I'll tell you more about my, my experience with Pokemon as we go on. It's the first, no, no serial, these games are a remix from the arena of Pokemon Red and Blue. For some reason the other uh, one is called Fire Red, but the other one is Leaf Green, I don't know. I guess it's because the first real Pokemon game ever made was Pokemon Green and was only released in Japan. I don't know, but here's Professor Oak. If you don't know who Professor Oak is, I don't know what you are doing watching this Let's Play. It's fucking Pokemon. So here we got our main character Red. Not to be confused with Ash Ketchum, the, the loser. I swear that guy makes me angry nowadays. Uh, and I feel obviously I'm gonna name him Light. I was thinking of Gra Light Sarabet. Oh my god, it's scary! Or Blue. Or however you wanna call him, it's obvious who he is. So what are we gonna call the rival to this game? Well, I say, I'll say let's call him something appropriate, shall we? A bitch. To keep, keep to keep going with the tradition. It, it's this guy. is our is our is our kid from Legend of Zelda. He grew up to be a Pokemon trainer. That's right. And his grandfather is Professor Oak. So here we go. Oh, what's this? An NES. Wow, that's ancient. I actually grew up with Sega myself, though. So. And Game Boy. I fucking love Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Um. Anyways, when you start off, you always wanna make sure your settings are made uh, put on fast. Oh no, you really want to play very slow these games. Um, and take a potion from your, com your computer. It's gonna be useful in case you have problems with your first battle. Because believe it or not, sometimes you can lose that battle. But if you've had a potion, it's a piece of cake. Anyways, there's our mother. We're never gonna speak with her again. So, bye. Hey, wait, don't go out. What? It's insane, will Pokemon live in the grass? Oh, so basically if you don't have a Pokemon you cannot leave this town ever, forever. You're trapped inside. Which makes me wonder how Professor Oak lives at the end. But, uh... Oh, oh, here's a bitch. A bitch, what are you doing here? So anyways, we have to choose our first Pokemon. Let's hit one. Be patient. So which one are we gonna pick? A squirrel? Hmm. Seems tempting. Charmander? Everyone loves Charmander. Everyone you loves Charizard. They always shoot him. I guess we're gonna go since everyone loves Charmander, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with the opposite of that. Take that Hipster Light. Let's name this guy. Anyway, if you notice when we start the game, I had another save file in this game. It wasn't mine, it was my brother, little brother's one. I hope he isn't mad with me. But to make it up with, with him, let's let's name our first Pokemon his nickname on the internet, shall we? Stardust. Which is a, is a nice little name. Or maybe I'm just so used to saying it. But that's right, my little brother is gonna be the squirrel. I'm gonna kill him every single day. And of course, a bitch, <laughs> the officer. 
<laughs> so we're happily we happy now we can we can live like nothing but wait yes, a bitch wants to fight no our first ever Pokemon battle guys uh, the good thing about this game is that there's a, never a tutorial battle in any Pokemon ever oh wait uh, uh, obligatory tutorials. I hate this. I hate this so much. This is the only Pokemon game that does this. The only one. Not, not even Orino once did this. I don't know why they they decide to only add this. There's like not not a lot you can do in this fight. So I, I don't know. Anyways. The first part is gonna be called Take Barrel because that's how you're gonna do for the first minutes of the game. Just taco 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 taco. I'm gonna we defeated a bitch, guys. Won our first battle, and of course we win money every time we win because gambling is good. <laughs> Anyway, for if isn't it if it isn't clear yet, your objective is just to train these little f creatures here, make them level up, and become a champion in this war. Let's just go out to the next town. The thing with the Pokemon games that that lack lack them like a lot of um well traditional RPGs is that you got random battles. When you step on the grass or are in some dungeons, the random Pokemon will appear from time to time, as is demonstrated here. Those random battles are obviously uh, made so you can train your Pokemon and also you can catch them uh, uh, with Pokemon to add to your party. In this case, I'm gonna show off in this part all the random battles that I encounter after after this far and onwards, I'm gonna be cutting out all the random battles. So don't worry if you don't wanna see an actually with random battles. They're gonna be cut out after after this far and just showing off how they can appear and how often. And it can be very repetitive after a while, but it's still fun. I mean, it's, it's a good way to waste time. And, I, and you know how to play your card, right? You don't really need to grind a lot game. You just need to fight our uh, trainers and, uh, and stuff. And you should be fine most of the time. Unless you suck, then you need to, to, to train a lot. But There we go. Level 7. And start us learn bubble. Our first fire attack. I, I, I must say it's pretty useless. It's, in my opinion, it only it's only useful if you are against some well rock type earth 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 and against types are, are are super effective against because the the, main, the way to to win battle is to use a, attacks with attributes that are super effective against the enemy for example um fire is weak to, uh, to water so or bubble attacks i, I don't know very strong by the, themselves they will they will do double the damage at least to fire Pokemon, which can be very useful. Also, because um, if you have an attack that is the same attribute of your Pokemon type, yeah, the attacks get a small boost. I don't know exactly the number of how big the boost is, but it, it is very helpful. So, for example, I got a bubbles here. Let's say another Pokemon uh, like uh, the Charmander we just saw, even though it doesn't make any sense if it, if it had. Uh, use of bubbles, it will be uh, weaker than, than our squirrel bubbles, even if they had the same level and everything. Because uh, uh, squirrel is water type and, and Charmander isn't, so yeah, I hope I made it clear. And if I didn't, well, shoot. Anyways, in order to progress, uh, the game you need to go to the mart and the. I forgot the name of the town. Oh. I always knew the name of the time was the Viridian. Uh forget what I'm saying, just 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 follow what I did and and yeah, and we had this little scene here about Professor Oak 
giving us our request to do his work. He gave us an, a like and a bitch. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. And we got the pocket hits, guys. This is a little gimmick that uh, it basically records all the data about the Pokemon you catch. And also, you had some information about Pokemon you have seen, like where they, they can be located and stuff. It's useful when you want to catch Pokemon and stuff, but... Eh. I'll tell, so, talk more about it later when I use it for now. And, hey, this guy, our bitch, one says that we should go to his sister. Let's go to his sister, shall we? Hello, Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. Even though your brother said that you, he will tell you to not give us this map, but I'm glad you are nice enough to give us a map for free to screw up your brother. We love you. Okay, you press the R, L or R in the Game Boy Advance configuration. You um, you hit that little help screen if you need to know that about the war. I'll never use it, but it's convenient for new players, I guess. You only got basic info, though, so... And then that's the map. That's our war. Eight minutes, let's go. We got five Pokeballs, so let's go catch our first Pokemon, shall we? As a tradition of, of me always getting a, a certain Pokemon in all my life, Ever since my first playthrough, I get the next Pokemon we're gonna get. Even though it's not very useful in competitive battle, but I love these guys for some reason. I think it, I blame the anime. So anyway, we're gonna catch this Pidgey over here. It's a male. Oh yeah, we're starting out. We are really gonna get our first chick. So let's go. I think that's enough. In order to catch Pokemon, you need to lower its HP. Um, to make it easier, after a certain point, you can put a status effect on it. It's gonna make it well, easier. And you throw your your Pokeballs. One, two, three. After three, three times it it, it moves, you get the Pokemon. Most of the time, it can move three times, but to get away. So we got a Pidgey. What are we gonna name it? As a tradition, I, I guess I'm gonna name it after my Pokemon's all based on my friends, real life and online, or at least most of them. Most of them will be named, the ones I use will be named after my friends, whether online or, or real life. Natalia, you're probably never gonna watch this, but you're a Pidgey. Yay! So let's kill this rat over here, and we, I guess we, that will be the end of part one after a little while. Next, next part we, we're gonna make uh, some progress, some training, I'm gonna cut out anything that wastes time, so if you're interested come back and let's keep going with our adventure, shall we? Viridian City, that was the next city. Anyways guys, I'll see you on part two.